Welcome back, I'm Brittany, and this is the Brittany Ink channel. So, winter is coming, and what better time than now than to show y'all my coat collection, or just all the coats that I have. I've actually donated quite a few, I realized, like, as I was trying them on, but we're just gonna jump right in before I begin rambling. I will link what's available below because some of these coats I've had for nearly 10 years. So we're gonna see, but let's get started. So this leather jacket is probably one of my most prized possessions. It's not an expensive piece. It's not a designer piece. It's just so, so, so good. I've had this for many years. I believe I got it in 2011 from eBay and it's my favorite. I dress it up, I dress it down. Sometimes I wear it clothes, like if I'm wearing it with like a flouncy dress or something or if I wanna give the girls waist, but it's just perfect through and through. It's so nice and heavy, like it's a, it's a true like moto jacket. I guess this is what the people who ride the motorbikes wear. The brand is First Manufacturing Co. Inc. Never heard of her. But it's a perfect, perfect heavy duty jacket. It barely looks 10 years old. It's just amazing. It's so heavy, so warm. I can wear this probably the coldest I've worn this is like 35 degrees with like a hoodie. It's so nice, it's so warm, it's so perfect. It it's not flimsy by any means. It's just a really, really good jacket that I love and have no intentions of ever getting rid of. This coat from ASOS is probably just as old as that one. I think I got this in like 2011. It's a wool coat. I got it in a size 22. And baby, what I can tell you is, is that you can tell it's old ASOS just by the label. They don't even, they don't even do this um, logo anymore. But I can tell you, it don't feel like it used to fit in 2011, okay? It, it, I, it used to close more on my lower region and cis spread, so it, it doesn't. I don't really wear it that often. And I'm also not in the habit of closing my coats just because I don't linger outside in the cold and whatever. I always have a scarf covering my chest and I kind of leave my coats open. But this actually has some stretch to it. It's a nice throw on coat. It's warm. It's this. This is another one from ASOS. I got this maybe three years ago. It is a size US 24. Now, it's beautiful in color blocked in wool. But this is probably when I first realized ASOS's fit issues. <laughs> because the arms are long and it stops on my body like right here it doesn't come all the way up to the shoulders and then there's so much space in the back it doesn't have any tie around the waist and the buttons are these clasp buttons which which to me doesn't make sense um just because they always pop open. So this is a coat I almost have no choice but to wear open. Not to mention, it's tons of excess fabric in the back and around the waist that just, it just don't look good closed. Now, I did take this to get it tailored. I think I paid maybe like 150 for this coat and the tailor, the person I took it to, tried to charge me like 225 to tailor it. So it's untailored. And I just, I think winter ended that year and the next year I got like new coat so I kind of pushed it back. So I just never got it tailored, but maybe I will this year. So that's all my, I guess, depending on who you're talking to, practical coats. I only have two wool coats now and then the leather coat, which I don't really wear in the winter winter. The rest of my coats are like faux fur, so let's get into them. 
This is one of my favorites. It's my Blue Beauty from Simply Be. This is a size, I don't know, because they can't be normal and have the size at the top. This is a size US 28. Oh, this silk looks so beautiful. This color looks so rich. This is a size US 28. This is definitely a fashion coat. She really ain't warm. It's perfect though. The, the pockets are mad small. I realized that during the try on period, they're just very petite, very petite pockets, but it's a beautiful coat. I love wearing this color blocked. It's very dramatic, but then blue is a neutral in it. So it just gives. This is just one of those coats that gives. Like she's definitely a statement. It's like bathroom rug, but make it fashion. I love this coat. And I've had her since probably 2011 too. Now, just side note, I hope you guys have seen my fast fashion video. I'll link it below. But all of this, minus this first leather one, because I don't know her, is fast fashion. And I've had these coats for years and years and years. I don't get rid of my stuff. That's not an excuse for me to consume a lot, but I really do hang on to my things. Another faux fur, this one is from ASOS. She's a 26. Notice all of these are different sizes, but she's a 26. Another bathroom rug-esque coat. It's nice, like the blue one. It's not the warmest. I probably will wear her in like 40 to 35 degrees, but no colder. It's a nice throw on coat. It's pretty, I like the color. I want a coat of with this colorway, but like ankle length. That's that's the drama that I need. That's what I'm manifesting. Or even better, a, a sable colored, like a dark chocolate. I haven't seen any plus size brands do a chocolate fur coat. Oh, yes. But yeah, this is her. Okay, this vest. This vest I got from eBay. I used to shop eBay a lot between like 2010 and 2012. I got this from eBay. This is by Rachel Zoff. It's a size 2X, and that's probably why it don't fit at all. I haven't had this coat on my body since probably 2012, which is probably an indication that I should like donate it or sell it or something, but I don't know. Girl, I have to investigate. You see these spots on the outside? I saw the spots. Well, you can't really see it. It just it looks scary to me for a bit there, okay? <laughs> but I feel like it's gonna come in handy for something. Like I'm going to want this. As soon as I get rid of it, I'ma want it. So I remember when I wore this, I styled this. I styled this three ways and it was one of my most liked pictures on Instagram back then and she's special a teen so I'm gonna hang on to it speaking of don't fit this black number another one that I got from eBay this is a 3x and the brand is Jennifer J I don't know this coat is such a joke it doesn't fit at all in fact, I don't even remember it really fitting when I got it. In fact, in fact, it fits so poorly that I cut the lining because it was like, and it's still like, so I think I, I haven't gotten rid of it just because it's black and I don't have any black faux fur anything so I just kept it but I can't even wear it it's just taking up space I think I need to get rid of it because it's just it's pointless y'all you saw it's coat looked on me so Jennifer girl you gotta go sister but this is a 3x what kind of 3x is this so on to animal prints this cheetah number is from Torrid and this is a size four. Now I like the silhouette of this. It's giving 60s with 
the almost A-line fit. I don't know if you can tell that because I have hips, but it's definitely an A-line fit and then the shorter sleeve. When I wear this, I usually wear these long Patricia Field gloves that I have, but this year I'm very excited to wear it with those long Eloquii Opera gloves that I still have to get. It's not warm just like the blue one. It's definitely just a fashion coat. You definitely don't wear her when it's below 30 degrees, but it's really cute. I've had it for years, probably another coat that I got in 2011 and just haven't let go of because I do wear it every year. This is one of my few things from Torrid. I'm definitely a girl that plays favorites and this beauty is one of my favorite purchases ever. One day I'm gonna do a favorites video, like my top 15 favorite garments ever and this would definitely be one of them it's from asos it's a size 24 i've had it for like two years it's so beautiful it's so warm it's so warm it has a snap closure and it stays closed unlike the navy wool one it actually stays closed but i don't close it much because again that's not how i am it's beautiful i'm 5'9 it's matte long it comes like mid cab on me it's just such a gorgeous, warm, beautiful coat. Even this leopard print, because you know, leopard prints can be unpredictable. This is a good one. It's the le it's leopard print, but it has a gradient. It's just so beautiful and rich. This is a rich bitch who care about animals coat. I love this coat, I'm never getting rid of it. If you saw my last haul video, you definitely saw this. This is Lisa. This is from Fashion to Figure. It's my first coat coat ever from them. I have more of a spring trench jacket from them. And I do plan to do a jackets and blazers collection, I guess in March when spring breaks. But this is from Fashion to Figure. This is a size two. It's giving like a Mongolian mixed with mink, chinchilla, I don't know. It's beautiful. I haven't worn it outside, so I can't speak to the level of warmth, but I can say just based on the feel, it ain't heavy. Like this one, this ASOS one, is actually heavy. This one, she's pretty light, so she's probably in the same realm of warmth as the blue one from Simply B. But it's still beautiful. I love this coat. I'm, like, it's sold out on me and I waited and waited for this coat and as soon as it came in stock, I got it, which is why I got it too, which ain't my size. And you can see from the try on portion that it really doesn't like close around my hip, but who closes coats? And then lastly, another one from my recent haul video is this beauty from Eloquii. This coat is heavy, like the ASOS one. I love this coat. This is the softest faux fur that I've ever felt. It feels so beautiful, so sumptuous, so lush. The pockets are also lined on one side with the fur, which is just such a sensory experience. It's beautiful. I got this one in a size 26 slash 28. This one doesn't have any button snaps or zips because it's like a, a robe coat, so you tie it which I don't love the extra bulk that it puts around my waistline because you know, I like to give body body at all times, but you know, if you're supposed to be warm, that's the point of a coat, I suppose. It's a beautiful coat. I love this coat. I can't wait to wear this outside. I can't wait to photograph in this. It's just lovely. So that was it. That's my coat collection. It's definitely a lot smaller than it was a couple years ago. My coat closet ain't getting no bigger, so I had to shave some off of the collection. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. What was your favorite coat? Do you live in like a wintry region where you even like need coats like this? Or are you fortunate, I guess depending on who you're talking to, enough to be able to get away with like a leather jacket? What's up? Where you from? What's going on there? Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Born in Sequins. And I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.